Here we are crossing the Sunshine Skyway Bridge on St. Pete's side, the Brampton side. We're going to go down and see the Olympic skaters, Nate, Felicia. They're going to be going to the Sochi, Russia 2014 Olympics. And over to the right here, you see the Gulf of Mexico. Here we are at the Ellington Ice and Sports Complex. We're going to meet Nate and Felicia. They're going to be in the 2014 Olympics. There's Karen right there drinking her coffee. And Dear Nathan and Felicia, on behalf of the people of Florida 16th Congressional District, I congratulate you on your skating and for qualifying for the 2014 Winter Olympics next month in Russia. I also applaud you for your second place finish in U.S. Figure Skating Championships early this month in Boston. The Olympics are considered the world's foremost sports competitions. Very few athletes achieve the goal of competing in this prestigious international sporting event. It is a source of pride and inspiration to have two skaters from Florida 16th District on Team USA. I wish you the best of luck and represent our nation in the World Games. Sincerely, Congressman Brandon McKean. There they are, right there. Hello, Nathan. This is for our grandkids and everybody back home right. in Indiana. All Works right. cold. All right. Could you oh, say could awesome. you could you say hi to everybody and say hi to Tony Dawson? Tony that, Dawson. Hi, yeah, Tony. Burn, Indiana. I'm Nate Bartholomew and uh, my partner Felicia. Hello, Felicia. How, How are you doing? Good. How are you? Are you guys excited about going yeah, to Sochi? Yeah. Looking to <laughs> win the gold, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> you know, stand on the podium. Yeah. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it, you guys. Hey. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Thank you so much. It's really Thank exciting you. to see. We didn't have any idea you were here until just this past week. So. Yeah. So how are you liking the weather in Florida? Oh, it's fantastic. Right. So it's definitely, it's definitely a selling point. Well, yeah, well, they're from Canada, but this is Stacy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It should be similar in Sochi, though. I mean, the weather yeah, is, uh, is it cold over there? No, it's quite warm. Is it warm? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, so it should be nice. Could you say hi to Tony Dawson up in Burn, Indiana? Hi. Nice to see you. <coughs> They'll be watching you on TV, I'm sure. Thank you. And there's David. Hey, David, sure hey, appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? Could I get you to take a picture with my wife? Yeah, sure. of course. Stand in between. Yeah. Just let me know. Uh, yeah. 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 
Yes. Look at this cake they've done for the Olympians. No. So we're going to no, have some cake right now. The president now. of the club told us to cut it. This is the famous statue of the World War II Kiss, Unconditional Surrender. The profound joy portrayed in this sculpture was prompted by the spontaneous surrender of the Japanese thus ending World War II on August 14, 1945. Among the celebrants of the Times Square in New York City were a United Sailor and a nurse embracing amidst a multitude of joy making. The merriment expressed the pride and the relief of the military and the home front to have been part of this great victory despite the 11 years of unemployment and the hardships of the Great Depression, four years of horrific war, losing loved ones, the ration of food and gasoline, and the war production duties endured the home front. This group was called the Greatest Generation, which is titled They Well Deserved. This celebrated the moment in history of our nation, prompted premierment American sculptor J. Seward Johnson to create this sculpture, which he named Unconditional Surrender. After several years of intensive efforts, a proud veteran of World War II, Jack Curran, brought the sculpture and with the outstanding support given by various Sarasota County veterans organizations, he was able to donate the sculpture to the city of Sarasota. The presence of the sculpture prompts viewers to never forget the greatest generation or the day when they demonstrated their unity, August the 14th, 1945. And this is the sculpture right here here in Sarasota, Florida.